We had the amazing opportunity to go back to visit our friends at the Lighthouse Projects situated in the Dominican Republic. The Lighthouse is an organization that helps share the gospel in five different communities within the DR by meeting the needs of people. They do this by making sure clean water is available to all through their water filtration plants and by teaching English and French as second languages, as well as other career furthering opportunities within their vocational schools. They start these projects from the ground up, literally building them using locals, thereby creating employment opportunities. These projects are expedited with the support of missionary teams that are sent down. Our purpose was going to be more construction-based, as we did our best to continue the work being done on the vocational school and new compound in the village of Villa Aldegacia. The day before our team left, we were blessed by Singing Waters Ministries, a mission team that supports churches, who wanted to donate some of the medications we were already asked to bring with us. It was a humbling experience to be prayed over by other missionaries who are serving in our own community, since they recognize the power that God provides for his people who go out to all nations. The day of, we ended up getting acquainted with our pilot before boarding and got the chance to share all about what our team was going to be doing. He then gave Compass students a shout out before takeoff, furthering our mission of sharing what God's love can look like. Before we knew it, we had arrived at Los Alcarizos, and we're settling into our rooms and our new environment. It was so great to see old friends and new faces as we caught up on how God had been working in our lives. Our first full day in the DR had us hitting the ground running and our team could not have been happier to begin serving. The 40 minute drive to the village flew by as the team was taking in the new scenery. We quickly found our rhythm as each of us found a job that suited their giftings. This gave us a taste on how the week was going to go. Our morning on day two started with a quiet reflection time, which is how all of our mornings would start from here on out. These moments spent in solitude with God allow the team to individually create a spiritual discipline to start their day off with prayer and praise, which would hopefully lead to the development of a healthy habit back at home. Being a Sunday meant we weren't going to be doing construction but we were going to get to go to a local Haitian church. It's so different than what we are accustomed to back at home because the congregation is encouraged to freely dance amongst the aisles, praising, singing, and whatever the spirit leads them to do. By the third day, we changed things up at the construction site. Now don't get us wrong, we still had a lot of concrete, but we added in the challenge of bricklaying and painting. We could tell that the team was starting to really connect as the jokes started flying. This was especially apparent through our many games of Pharisees that were played on the bus rides to and from the village. On the fourth full day, we really found our groove, which was evident in the amount of bricklaying that was done, concrete made and poured, and the doors that were painted. In the evenings, we would spend time together as a team debriefing about how our day and going over a devotion. These discussions increased in length as the week went on and the questions got deeper as we deliberated about what it means to truly experience love from God and how we can translate this to others across the country or those in our own backyard. This was also a point in the week when it became apparent that the students really started to experience God for themselves in different moments as they began to share personal anecdotes more. The following day, we stayed on the compound and were put to the task of hand mixing our concrete which made us all the more grateful for the mixer back in Via Aldegracia. We were thankful to be able to complete our projects for the day before a storm had rolled in. Not only are we thankful for God's protection from this storm, but also from Hurricane Ernesto, which blew past us earlier in the week. Fear not, for God is with us is mentioned 365 times throughout the Bible, and we used every single one of them that day when we encountered a tarantula that had come out to play. The Thursday before we left was a big work day. We stayed until past 7 p.m. that day in the village, finishing up concrete work and more importantly, painting. As we finished our time in Via Aldegracia, we reflected on how God has used the lighthouse to impact this community. What was once a place marred by negativity is now through the grace of God, a source of light and hope for this village as it will bring new job opportunities, education, and even medical teams once completed. We wrapped our day up with a walk through this community, and it became so abundantly apparent why this building was important. The little ones that held our hands were being offered hope and a brighter future due to the opportunities that would be offered by the lighthouse. 
New career paths would now be available that once were not. Jesus was so tangibly speaking to our group in this moment, and we all praised God that evening for being allowed to experience a fraction of his kingdom here on earth. Day seven was the team's day to explore more of the DR. We traveled to the capital of Santo Domingo where we explored portions of the old city, the Three Eyes Cave system, some of the markets, and the Caribbean Sea. After this well-needed respite, we concluded our day. Earlier in the week, we had been partnered up to pray with another team member, which was another opportunity to develop a healthy spiritual habit. Most of the team was hesitant to initiate this kind of connection right away, as it is a vulnerable practice. But once they had, they sought out other people to pray with. Our final full day started off with a twist on our morning reflections. We did what is called a 360 moment, which is when we spend a few minutes using all of our senses to experience and take in everything around us, giving glory to God for the space we are in. Then our team went to help in the ESL classes in the morning. This tends to be a favorite moment for the students as they get to interact more with the community. The classes ranged in various ages and skill levels, and our students fit right in spreading God's love in their conversations. The afternoon consisted of last minute projects within the compound as we were the last team the Lighthouse will be receiving until November. Thank you for your prayers and for the financial support you provided for this mission experience. We cannot wait to see some of the Lighthouse members who will be visiting in the fall and to hear about how their work carries on without us. We encourage you to approach any of us who went to ask more in-depth questions about our time there.